Leia here from LeiaForSci.com, and in this Oreo Basics video, we'll discuss the topic of formal charge. You can find this entire series on my website at LeiaForSci.com slash OrgoBasics. When you learned polyatomic ions in general chemistry, you drew out the Lewis structure for the molecule, put the entire thing in brackets, and then put the charge on the outside. In organic chemistry, it's important to understand exactly where that charge comes from in terms of which atom is charged, what the specific charge is, and why. So for example, if we draw the Lewis structure for nitrate, something I'll break down in detail in my next video, we can't simply put a minus one on the outside. Instead, you have to know that there's a positive charge on the nitrogen, two negative charges, one on each oxygen, which gives me a net of negative one. Same thing for the hydroxide ion. Putting a negative outside the brackets is not enough. It's important when working with reactions to understand that it's the oxygen atom that has that negative one. And the way to figure out these charges is to calculate the formal charge. In organic chemistry, it's important to be able to look at the molecule and quickly determine the formal charge. But if you look at your textbook, you'll get some wacky formula that looks something like this. Formal charge is equal to the number of valence electrons minus the bonding electrons divided by two plus the lone electrons. Are you confused? So am I. When I first saw this, I knew that I had to find another way because not only is this confusing and tedious, but it also takes way too long. And when you're dealing with advanced organic chemistry reactions and mechanisms, you do not have the time to go through this entire process. So instead, we'll calculate the same exact thing using a completely different equation. Formal charge is equal to should minus has. And that's it. Now it's important to understand the shortcut so that you can apply it quickly. Should is the number of valence electrons an atom should have. And this is on the table. Has means the number of electrons directly attached to the atom. So let's put this into practice so I can prove to you how easy it is to come up with a formal charge. We'll go back to our nitrate example and remove the charges. We'll start with the nitrogen in the center and the formal charge for nitrogen is going to equal to should minus has. A neutral nitrogen atom should have a total of five valence electrons. Directly attached to this nitrogen atom, I have one, two, three, four, and five minus four equals positive one. As we said earlier, the charge on this atom is plus one. Let's move to the upper left oxygen, and we'll make this the purple one. The purple oxygen should have a total of six valence electrons. Directly attached, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. 6 minus 6 equals 0, and the oxygen is neutral as predicted. Now let's look at the blue oxygens and recognize that they're both the same. Each oxygen has one bond and three lone pairs. The blue oxygens should have six valence electrons, but directly attached to each one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 6 minus 7 is equal to negative 1, and the formal charge on each blue oxygen is minus 1. We essentially did the same wacky formula that you saw up here, but we did it in a very quick and easy way. Because if we're looking at a molecule, we can say it should have six, I count seven, we're good to go, we're on to the mechanism, the reaction, anything else on the exam that potentially takes more time. Let's do the same thing for the hydroxide ion. Here's a trick. Hydrogen with one bond always has a formal charge of zero, because hydrogen has one valence electron, and when bound, it has one directly attached to it. So we never look at hydrogen. Instead, we'll look at the oxygen. Oxygen should have six directly attached. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six minus seven, negative one. And that's where the hydroxide ion gets its minus one charge. Let's try one more example. In the hybridization video, I told you that a carbocation has a charge of plus one and that it's sp2 hybridized because it has three bonds. So let's prove it. Say I have a molecule that is CH3 bound to CH bound to CH3. And we're interested in the carbon in the center because it has only three bonds and we're calling it a carbocation. Carbon should have a total of four valence electrons. Directly attached here we have one, two, three. 4 minus 3 is equal to plus 1. 
That gives me a positive carbon ion, which is how we get the word carbo, carbon, cat, positive, and ion being charged. And the trick here is you have the plus in the word. Be sure to join me in the next video where I show you how to draw Lewis structures for molecules and show you a checklist that lets you know if you got it correct before turning in your exam or second guessing yourself. Are you struggling with organic chemistry? Are you looking for resources and information to guide you through the course and help you succeed? If so, then I have a deal for you. A free copy of my ebook, 10 Secrets to Acing Organic Chemistry. Use the link below or visit orgosecrets.com to grab your free copy. After downloading your free copy of my ebook, you'll begin receiving my exclusive email updates with cheat sheets, reaction guides, study tips, and so much more. You'll also be the first to know when I have a new video or live review coming up. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up and share it with your organic chemistry friends and classmates. I will be uploading many videos over the course of the semester, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do so right now to be sure that you don't miss out.